Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to Tabletop Republic. We are back in store, thankfully, and able to bring you a little bit more content. And today we're going to start with a project that I've been looking forward to getting my hands on for a while. And as soon as I saw the new box, the more I looked at it, the more I thought, yeah, it's time. Um, and that is Aeronautica Imperialis, specifically the new release, Skies of Fire, which features the Imperial versus the Tau. So I just thought it'd be uh, fun to kick off this series uh, of videos with a little what's in the box. So let's have a let's have a little look. There we are. As you might expect from Games Workshop, there's plenty in there and the models are of great detail. So in terms of the ships, um, you get five per faction, two of the Astra Militarum Valkyrie assault carriers and three uh, Imperial Navy lightning fighters and on the Tau side you get three of the aircast uh, Barracudas and two of the aircast Tiger Sharks so let's just have a little look at those sprues and what that means so first of all here we've got the Tau uh, this is the uh, aircast uh, Barracudas Now I will uh, will state just for the record that I have no idea how to actually play this game yet, and I don't know the best way to equip these dudes. So that is a process of learning that we will go on together. And next, let's have a look. So this is the the, the tiger sharks. This comes in two sprues. So let's just have a look at the, each frame. On its own. Again, I believe there's a variety of ways to build each of these. I could be wrong, I will admit, because again, I've not actually played this yet. But lovely detail on these ships. You've probably seen already the, you know, painted images from the heavy metal team. If you've, if you're watching this video, chances are you're interested in this. So you've already seen it. So we're onto the Imperials now. Uh, we've got the three uh, lightning fighters. And the two Valkyrie salt carriers with the teeniest I love this tiniest little las cannons you can imagine all those little things beautiful so those are the ships or aircraft as you might say and then we've got all the bases that you need they're all identical Sort of one size fits all bases. I will just rip open one of these now and show you what they look like. So there we are, we've got spin dials, presumably just playing different values, different maneuvers, perhaps that kind of thing. Um, your transparent flight stands. And if any of you 40k players need spares, then you'll probably get some in here. <laughs> Set of dice. The all important rules and stuff are underneath. Ah, there we are. That says it better than I could have when looking at the sprues. That's the components you get within. Of course, the rule book, importantly, and uh, complete with tokens on the back, the push out tokens. Instruction manuals, always required. And we've got a starter scenario. So these, this is cool. This obviously is going to give us the ability to just sort of get to grips with the rules. And, you know, similar to how uh, 40K and Sigma have little in introduction campaigns in their basic rules and such in the starter kits. And we have a mat. Oh, 
sneakily hiding under that was the transfer sheets. So lovely, very nice. Never throw those away, guys. I know we think that transfer sheets are, um, you know, surplus to requirements on many occasions, but you never know what project you're going to do down the line that might require them. If you've been watching my third edition project, you know how many old school ultramarine transfer sheets I need now. So here we are. This is your flight map. And what's really cool is it's double sided. So we've got the wasteland on one side and then we've got a kind of nightscape situation on the back. So that's very cool indeed. So those are the contents of Aeronautica Imperialis, the, start, the new starter set, Skies of Fire, and uh, do follow us along on this journey of discovery. I'll rope someone in to try and learn this game with me. We'll have some battle reports, we'll paint these uh, aircraft up. I think I'm leaning towards the Imperial side. Um, I'm sort of tempted by the Orcs as well from the previous release, so we'll see. Until then guys, take it easy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.